What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What is poppy YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panna, and today I'm sharing with you guys my youngest client, guys. She is three years old, but actually her birthday was during the quarantine, so my baby is still two, period, until we can leave the house and turn up for her, but technically she's three, and when I tell y'all she sits better than my adult clients, I'm gonna need y'all to get it together. So I am going to be blowing her hair out. I'm using Ken Kimra's Platinum Silkening Cream, and um, this is just it's gonna help to add a little bit of moisture. It's also a heat protectant, and I combine that with water. Um, this is a professional product, so it's not guaranteed unless you get it directly from them or like Cosmo Prof. But it's definitely not something that I personally would buy again. I had got it on sale, and it does work bomb. But their products are like twenty to thirty dollars. So yes, brace yourself. It is like I said, a phenomenal product, but it's not in my budget. So. Yes, I'm gonna be um, blowing her hair out. Typically when I work on kids, I do blow their hair out unless their parent is like absolutely not, which has never happened to me. But um, her, with her texture, I just wanted to make sure that it would be easy for me to work through and um, just a lot less painful for her. But I had to show her her inches. I said, shrinkage, baby, cause you got inches on you, sis. She said, I wanna wear my hair down. I said, nah bump all of that but I did um, decide to do some singles in the back so she could have some hair that was hanging down for her so yeah she could feel cute or whatever So yes, guys, this is her hair blown out. She has such a beautiful, healthy, full head of hair. I absolutely love her hair. And um, we decided to do a ponytail at the top and singles in the back so that she can have something hanging down with two little bangs in the front. So yeah, she was loving her hair out. I had to turn her face in the mirror because she's like, I just want to look at myself all day. So I started off by separating off the top hat. That's going to be what I braid up. And then the back is going to be hanging down. Y'all, when I tell you y'all that the iPad is literally my best friend whenever I'm doing kids hair um, it just helps them to look down if they're occupied um, and also just takes their mind off of like getting their hair done so yes if you are having a hard time getting them to focus and control I iPad is great um, sometimes the TV helps too but then they have a hard time keeping their head down so I love to like slide them a phone or an iPad while they're getting their hair done now for her hair I'm not going to be adding in any fake hair. Her mom actually requested it, but I didn't have her color at the time. But for me, whenever kids are like under five years of age, I never like suggest or request for them to have um, synthetic hair for a couple reasons. Number one, um, the synthetic hair does add a little bit of a little bit more tension so if you are like worried about their edges and stuff which are really fine on kids um, I definitely don't recommend that you should be putting fake hair in there number two 
a lot of times their hair is just really fragile. Their textures are forming around this age and um, hair is just really starting to grow in. And I just feel like the um, synthetic hair can really break their hair. And the third thing is just like, I think it's so important as like beautiful black little girls that they learn to appreciate their natural hair. I feel like already playing with Barbies who are predominantly white and you typically see long hair that's like the standard. Um, I just think it's important that we teach them to like appreciate their natural hair and not want to like add length and all that good stuff so this is not my child so um you know whenever it comes to kids I do have to do what their parents say but I know baby when I have my child she will not be getting fake hair until she has a clear understanding that her hair is beautiful and it's enough but I know a lot of people do it just because it lasts longer which is totally understandable um I'm not saying that there's I'm, I'm like 100% against it but that's just my opinion when it comes um, to adding synthetic hair. Once they get about five and their texture is formed and all that good stuff, then I think adding in like some fake hair, like I said, to make it last longer or, you know, for a cute little pop of color or something is always really, really fun. Um, I think when they're younger than that, honestly, they need to be in something super kitty, some pigtails. I don't know. <laughs> that's just my opinion but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below but yes yeah, she has beautiful long hair i said her mama gonna think that there's some extensions in this hair because baby got inches her shrinkage is crazy um and i am gonna go ahead and put beads on all of these so i know they look really stiff right now but they're gonna be shaking and moving and all that good stuff when i'm done So yes, now we're going to be working on the top. I'm going to go ahead and part out like a half moon shape here where I'm going to put two V's that fall on the front. I had did this on her before and she really liked it. So I decided to do it again. It just adds something a little bit more in the front of her head. And I'm literally going to be braiding those towards the front. So you guys can see I already did that one there. This next one is going to be in the front too. And these are going to have beads on it. Um, I actually wish I would have angled it out more because they were kind of hanging like right over her eyes. And I think she liked it, but just like I know for me personally that would irritate the hell out of me and she's probably not old enough to articulate that she just thinks it's cute and stuff but yeah maybe angle it out a little bit more so it falls kind of like on the outer part of her eye So I feel like the blow drying and the box braids and all of that took me about an hour. At this point, she was kind of getting a little bit restless. So that's, you know, where you insert the mental breakdown. So I did start on this side. I did about um, three braids on this side and I had to give her a little break. I try to like give them, you know, a five or 10 minute break depending on how long they're sitting because I feel like once they start to get antsy, if you just try to force them to sit there, then you really will lose them. So once I noticed that she was starting to get like a little restless and you know the tears started coming she was like i'm over this like you heard of me and i don't want to sit here no more and my show is done um then yeah that's when i ended up giving her a little a little five ten minute break you know every kid is literally so different like sometimes i try to hype them up i'm like you're gonna be so cute when this is done you're not even gonna be crying sometimes i turn and let them look at themselves in the mirror but for her she was like baby girl when i said i was done like i'm done so i did these last two um crisscross braids and then i did give her a little break but typically she'll sit through the whole style and do really cool we also did this really late at night i think we started her hair at like 10 or 11 which is hella crazy for a kid but she took a nap during the day so she was up up so i was like well we might as well knock it out so i'm pretty sure that has something to do with it too it was just really late at night and i know she was just over life at this point
So yes guys, at this point we are done with all the braiding. I just had to go in and add the beads, which literally took forever, y'all. I literally hate beading, but she is so cute. And beads are necessary because I feel like I can't even look at the style like this. Um, I need to look at it with the beads on it. So yeah, check it out. So yes guys, this here's my finished look. I did go ahead and add a couple jewels at the top um, just to add a little something up there because it looked kind of plain. But y'all, she is literally feeling herself. She said, thank you for doing my hair, God Mommy. I love how loving she is. I'm so used to my nephew who like, I literally forced myself on him. I'm like, uh -uh, I'm giving you a hug right now. And girls are so much different. So it was really cool to um, spend time with her. So yes, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. And as always, I'll catch you guys in my next upload. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?